and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today I'm here in Singapore. We are deep into the Azure Function series, but I wanted to stop and take a little break to go through the architecture of this mini project. Now, of course, this is a very miniature deployment of Azure Functions, but let's go through some of the anatomy and see how this thing is structured so far. As we know, every Azure Function needs to have an app service plan. You have, you have a few options in what app service plan you use. Consumable plan, which is purely serverless. There's no, there's no hardware constraints whatsoever, um, but there are certain limitations. There's a premium functions plan, which allows you to set some reserve capacity and choose a little bit more beefy uh, set of uh, physical hardware profiles for your functions to operate within. And then there's the traditional app service plan, which you can host traditional app service apps, um, you know, .NET apps, Java apps, whatever, and cohabitate them with Azure Functions. Um, I, I have noticed that these don't perform as well as the Azure Functions premium plan. Um, when you deploy your app service plan, the next step is to deploy a function app. Now this function app is actually where your deployment for your Azure function goes. To deploy a function app, you need to have a storage account. And so you can see in our code and in our architectural diagram here, um, we have the app service plan, we have the function app, and we have a storage account. Now this storage account is used by the function app to hold various deployment artifacts, history, uh, basically record keeping for the function app service. Next thing that we deploy is a managed identity. This managed identity is going to be a user assigned managed identity that's going to allow us to attach to our function app to basically grant our function app permissions to the other resources in Azure that we use. Of course, we could use a system assigned identity, but I think it's best practice to define a managed, a user assigned managed identity um, so that you can you know, have more tight control over the RBAC that you assign to that identity. System assigned identity seems a little bit too uh, flighty for me in that it's not, it doesn't feel as permanent as a user assigned one that you explicitly provision. A system assigned identity is implicitly provisioned just by flicking a switch on the service itself. Now, the first thing that we grant that user assigned identity access to is our key vault which is gonna hold secrets that our Azure function is gonna is going to use in order to access other services like Cosmos DB, uh, Blob Storage Account, et cetera. And then the last thing that we set up was the Azure Application Insights Service, which allows us to centralize our logging, add uh, advanced telemetry using custom events and annotation uh, to those custom events so that we can get business context within our logs and add place markers within our code so that we can see when critical events happen within our code base and be able to see what's going on in the system when they happen. So right off the bat, we have our compute hosting environment. We have our observability stack set up using App Insights, and we have secure secret storage using Key Vault. And we have our identity established for the function app using that user assigned identity which is going to be insanely useful when we start granting our function app access to all the different things that it needs. So I hope this diagram helps give you a better understanding of what we've set up so far. There's lots of different ways that I could have deployed this, and I think I'm going to tease out different features and functionalities as we go forward within this series and play with different aspects of the architecture as well. So stay tuned for the Azure Function series and keep those questions coming. I'll try and do a better job laying out diagrams and such uh, to give you a big picture of where we're going uh, before uh, digging into the code to get there. And if you are enjoying this series, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. Anyways, this is uh, the Azure Terraformer from Singapore, signing off.